All right, Rick, thank you. The time for couples to make a baby is filled with anticipation and pleasure. But that pleasure can be easily turned into pain when the effort to conceive fails time after time. Dr. Mylene Yao is here with some options for those couples. She is a leader in fertility research and co-founder of Unify. Now, the good news, Mylene, is that new developments in the field have made it so much easier for couples to maybe be able to have that baby that they're trying so hard That's to right. have. What's new? That's right. There are many new things that are happening in the field of fertility, and there are many ways for patients or women and men to get more information about their fertility. So, for example, uh, nowadays, if a couple is starting to try to conceive, uh, the first thing is to understand uh, what are some risk factors of infertility. So you do not need to just try for many months and then go and see a doctor. Mm -hmm. If you know that you have risk factors, you should be seeing your OB or fertility specialist to begin with. And that could really help um, you remove a lot of frustrations and get to the right steps. Well, how would mm -hmm. couples know that they have risk factors? Yeah, so there are a few ways. And uh, first, uh, it's always good to get preconception counseling with your OB or primary care doctor. Mm -hmm. And go over your health history and just to make sure that you get your health all in order before starting. And get your vitamins get your prenatal vitamins in and uh, also you know check your weight to make sure that you're in an optimal age, uh, weight um, range mm -hmm. and then you know some fertility uh, factors that, uh, that are really good to know are for example women who are having uh, irregular periods um, or if they've had a history of irregular periods that's a red flag that maybe it's good to see your doctor and uh, just check that out before okay. trying. Because if you're not ovulating, that's where once a month an egg is released. Right. If you're not ovulating regularly, it's gonna be difficult to conceive. But there's some very easy treatments that can handle that. When is it time to seek out an IVF specialist? Mm -hmm. That's right, so if you know you have some of these risk factors or if you have uh, uterine fibroids or anything that's affecting your reproductive organs like blocked fallopian tubes, then you would see a fertility specialist right up front. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have any risk factors, then you can try for, uh, usually experts recommend that you try for 12 months and then see a fertility expert. However, if, you, if the woman is 35 years or older, um, we recommend that uh, you really go see the fertility specialist after trying for six months. And that's because, you know, Everyone knows as you're aging, your ovaries are, you know, aging, and so you really don't want to be losing too much time on that. Okay. Yeah. How much of a role does do men play in this whole conception thing, uh, and, and how yeah. do they affect the chance? Yeah, and a very important role. Uh -huh. So for um, men and women who are having trouble conceiving, you know, a third of the time is the woman who's having a condition. Uh, that's affecting it and a third of the time is actually the male partner and a third of the time both the man and the woman are having some factors affecting their fertility mm -hmm. so it's very important to check that out and for men it, the easy is a, is a lot easier because um, you know you can just get your sperm count checked mm -hmm. and you can do that with your primary care doctor you don't have to see a fertility specialist just for that but at least you can get a quick check of what your sperm count is like and it's good to really um, uh, be educated about what are the lifestyle factors that can compromise sperm count. So uh, many people already know this, but um, for example, um, hot tub, tight clothing, all of those things are very easy to change mm -hmm. that can immediately have an impact um, on your sperm count. Where are some places in the area that people can go to um, maybe have some of the newer procedures that are out there? Yeah, so um, I think different clinics are adopting different techniques and uh, what Unify does, what our company does, is that we provide IVF prediction tests. These are online data tests um, that patients can do at home uh, and can, you know, you can enter in your health information mm -hmm. and find out what are your chances of having success IVF treatment for the first time mm -hmm. and uh, our website is www.unifyunivfy.com and we want to raise awareness of how useful and important IVF is. Mm -hmm. So IVF stands for in vitro fertilization and is a treatment that's 
very effective for most men and women and going you were through fertility. You were mentioning a Reading area clinic that That's also right. does. That's right. Talk about that. That's right. So um, the Reading Health Physicians Network, Women's Clinic, IVF, and Fertility are very familiar. The doctors there are very familiar with this online data test. Um, is a very uh, transparent way to provide information that's very personalized and accurate for patients who are considering IVF. And uh, you can run this test at home, and then we urge you to bring a report. The, the test report will come up in real time on your computer screen. You can print that out, and we urge you to bring that to see a fertility specialist. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Ma Milen. <laughs> Thank, Milen. You, yeah. Thank you, Haseel. Thank you, Haseel. It's good to be here. I hope I didn't mess it up too bad. Good to have <laughs> yeah. you with us. Thank you so much. Thanks. Stay with us. We'll be right back.